it would be a very long video if we're going to talk about everything you did, Serge, from, you know, working with the greats in, uh, you know, in France throughout the 80s and later to the point of, you know, winning your own recognition and star with Michelin to working in Los Angeles and covering Hong Kong and, you know, uh, your time with uh, in Orlando. Uh, but there's of particular interest, I think, you know, to a lot of people will be one of your most recent, you know, responsibilities. And that was as a executive chef of international cuisine at the uh, al Wajba Palace in Qatar. Now, Qatar is going to be featuring a lot more as we, you know, as we run up to the World Cup. We're going to be hearing a lot more about it. But uh, you were uh, executive chef, Serge, there, you know, from for for I think in the region of three years from 2010 up to last year uh, yeah. sometime. That's a that's a job that's, you know, that a lot of us would like to know about. We'd like to know something about it. How did you get the job? Oh, uh, recruitment agency. Great. I'm I'm delighted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't uh, us. Uh, I was I was fishing. I was fishing. Uh, and the guy called me up. And uh, you know, when you fish, you're very quiet. So, so he's he head hunting. And, no, no, I was fishing the fish. Right. I was fishing in, uh, you know. Oh, you were, li- you were, sorry, you were literally fishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I get a phone call. Right, okay. I, I thought I you am, were talking, uh, Serge, I thought you were talking metaphorically there that you were fishing no, no. for a job. You were, no, 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 no. No, you were fishing for fish. Yeah, were yeah. Fish? Okay, sorry. And a guy called me and he said, uh, I have a job for you uh, to work for, for pri- uh, private in a palace uh, in Doha. And I said, I'm not interested because I used, that to, I, I used to do this before. And he said, you don't want to hear it? I said, no, I, I don't care. I don't want to do it. Right. Well, why did you say that? Was that, to, was that an early, was that no, an early no. gambit at pushing your price up, Serge? No, or, no, no. Or were you genuinely not, not interested? A- a- absolutely not. It, because I used to do this in Paris before. I was working for, for the, Arabis, uh, the Saudi Ar- Arabian, Arabian Bank, who was, who was uh, managed by a guy called Jamel Radwan. And I was his private chef. And uh, what's difficult is uh, you work most of the time in different places. You work most of the time along in the kitchen, which takes you a lot of time because you need you need to prepare, buy the food, prepare the food, uh, put the table, dress the dress the uh, uh, bring the food to the table, talk about it. You know, go back in the kitchen, send the dessert. Now, if if you do uh, simple food, it's it's easy. But it, that's not what I do, okay? Of I did, but at this point, it's not what I did. So I did some some set set uh, set lunches or set dinner, and uh, you know if you serve, you need to uh, everything served on plates. So it, it takes you a lot of time, you, you know. So I said no, I don't want to do it. So I hang up, and he called me back. I said, wait, wait, let me talk to you about the project. I said okay, and he said uh, the the royal family. Uh, the 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 first lady of Qatar is looking for a chef and he wants to do the best palace in the world. Uh, she she wants to be better than uh, um, Buckingham Palace. I say okay, but what? Uh, am, am I alone in the kitchen? And he said no, no. You have a team. You are twelve. Okay. I said twelve people. Okay. And he said that that's one kitchen. How many kitchen are there? I said three. There's Arabic. Lebanese and French and she loves French food and she knows a lot about food okay so uh, I said okay but uh, um, um, what am I uh, am I uh, am I responsible for what he said for the French section is that okay so I f- they fly me over there and they fly me over for three uh, five days and I cooked uh, three meals and I think I was the, the uh, I was the tenth chef. You know, they they took nine chef already before to cook, and they she That's, didn't like it. Now, so they they flew you over, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
was that a scheduled flight or did you did they, did they arrange a special plane uh, no no, uh, no, 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 no 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 yeah uh, I don't, I don't want to miss any details here Serge no, you know no, don't dream because it doesn't work this way uh, people think uh, they are Arabic and no no they yeah. they think those people are not stupid huh? they understand okay uh, so uh, I I took I took a plane and, and fly to Doha so uh, and accommodation, food, and everything, yeah. all everything is laid on. Like you know, there's no, no expense to you attaching at all. No, yeah. no, no. You, I didn't have expense. So I cooked for her, but it was mo mostly for her. Okay, I was right. hired by by her. I was not hired by by Emir. I was hired uh, by her. <clears throat> so I cooked for <clears throat> I, I cooked three times, <clears throat> two lunch and one dinner, I think, and uh, and uh, she liked it. And she told me, you know, uh, I was serving my food, because most of the time you don't serve those people. Yeah. You have, you have waiters, they serve, uh, and I was serving my own food, and she said, uh, I like what you do, I, I, I would be pleased that you work with us, or that you work for us, I don't know. So uh, we talked about this, and, uh, and so I, I took the job. Uh, uh, and I started there. <clears throat> so when I came to the kitchen, most of the people I had are more uh, Indian, Sri Lankese, uh, you know, uh, uh, Filipinos. But most, most is Bengali, Indian, Sri Lankese. And uh, most of them, they were more, uh, uh, they were not trained. You know they cook with a lot of fat and 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 and, and uh, stuff like that. So how so do they what, how do they get a job there without without being trained? I mean, no, they they were they were chefs, but you know they were they did food which was uh, which was not um, uh, uh, was not interesting. Right. Okay. So when I when I came there, I took uh, I took a guy and he was uh, he was peeling onion when I came. And uh, I discovered him because when I cooked there for three days, he came to me and said, uh, "May I help you? Can I, you know, can I work with you?" Uh, so I took him with me, and he became after my sous chef. But I trained him little by little, and uh, so we built the team. And where the was he from, Serge? Uh, ben Bangladesh. All right. Okay. And what's happened is, uh, you need to work with what you get. It's yeah. like with products, right? So I, we went to the market, we see a little bit what's going on. In the beginning, I buy some fishes from France, and she told me, uh, I don't like these fishes, where you buy those? I said, I let them come from France. She said, no, I prefer that you work with fish that we have here. And she's right, you know. Yeah. Why should I use a, a, a French fish if, if I can, if she likes, well, if and, I can and and, and Serge, what about you know budget here? Were you, were you given a, a blank check to buy? No, no, no. What's happened is uh, uh, you know a little bit what they spend. Of course, you have a good budget. I think the food was was uh, fifty percent because products are very expensive, right? Yes. And the problem is you never know. Uh, the problem you have is you need to understand that uh, uh, when she passes to the table, when she is at the table. You need to serve uh, two salads, one appetizer, one fish, one main course, one dessert in 20 minutes. That 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 quick? Yeah. So, okay. Why why so fast? Because that's the way that's the way it goes. Really? Yeah. And does this involve does this involve plating in succession, or is it literally? Putting several several pieces down on the table. No, at one no, time. it's not. What you do is you put two salads on the table, and in the main time, in the same time, you bring your appetizer. But when she's finished your appetizer, you need to bring the fish. When she's finished the fish, you need to bring the meat. When she's finished the meat, brings the, des the dessert. The only problem is, the table contains also uh, Arabic food and uh, and what's it? Arabic food and, and and Lebanese food. So. She can pick whatever she wants because the table is full and she picks whatever she wants. So you need to be careful because <clears throat> once she sits down, you know you have 20 minutes. If you're not, if it's not done in 20 minutes, she stands up and so, sits. So, Serge, then, there's always the danger then that, you know, 
she might not pick your stuff someday. So, so have, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does the tension build, you know, if yes. she hasn't had your one of some of your food in, 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 in one day or two days or three days, you know, Absolutely. do you feel yourself getting closer to the door if the uh, few days have passed? Yes, and uh, the, it's also good. It's good that you mentioned that because it's a uh, it's very good for your ego. You know, I don't remember. I came from a restaurant where I had one star Michelin. Yeah, and I had sixteen two heads in Goy Mio. Okay, sixteen in so, Goy Mio. Yeah, very so nice. So I, I came from that, and I went to a kitchen where uh, the food you do. It's maybe not the taste that she wants. So also again, you need to adapt yourself at at what she wants, and you need to adapt yourself also <clears throat> in what she can't eat or watch or the dislikes because those there are, there are a lot of things that uh, those people don't like. So you need to 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 cook around that. So whereas when you ha when you were running your own restaurant with a Michelin star and sixteen and Go Mio, you're in yeah. a position to say, well, you know, if you're sitting at my table in my restaurant, you're here for my food. You know, I am the auteur. Yeah. 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 yeah but, but that's when the you case. go to a palace, yeah. No, that's not the case. Yeah. Now, the the most difficult point is nobody knows what she likes. Right, there's no pattern here. You have to take no. it. It's a lottery. The only thing is, what's happened with me is since I'm the first chef in the whole history who went to serve her, I had a reaction. She likes it or not. Right. So, uh, to building up what she likes or not, I needed to get some time until I know her a little bit better on the food side. Now remember, it's a, it's a, it's you cannot talk. Uh, the protocol doesn't allow you to talk uh, whatever you want. So you, it's very difficult to 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 uh, uh, to move in these kind of things because. So, so, sorry, Serge, I'm 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 very rude, but but. The protocol doesn't allow you to talk whenever you want. So, so what is the protocol if you want to speak to, you know, the, Her you, Majesty, the First Lady of Qatar? I mean, what is there? Do you have to go through the, the Lady of the Bedchamber, or what is no, there a no, hierarchy? No, or no, she was she she's a she's a, she's a very nice lady, but you don't you know uh, normally you 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 wait until she asks a question. You don't. It's okay. not. Uh, it uh, it's very uh, not frustrating, but it's another approach, right? Okay. You know, and and, and and she was very great with me. She uh, she was very nice to me, uh, but it's it's another again it's another uh, uh, a brain work. It's something that you are not used to, uh, and in the, in another hand you cannot be too. Uh, I was. Uh, you know, if, if I didn't like something, I told her. So uh, you need to uh, once give once you had permission to speak. That is, huh? yeah, it, it's it's uh, you need to be careful. You know, yeah. it's not it's not like in your restaurant. You come to the table, uh, hey, how are you doing? Uh, nice to see you. you. You know, it's 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 different. And you cannot throw her out. If there's any throwing out to be done, oh, she'll be doing it. She's at home. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a fascinating experience. It must have been. And you were there for, I think, nearly three years. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously, you know, it was win-win. Uh, Her Royal Highness was yeah. getting what she wanted out of your kitchen. And you must have been getting what you, you, you wanted, you know, out, <clears throat> out of the experience of cooking for her. Now, is, is, is cooking for Gulf royalty, yeah? Is it, is it a very lucrative business? I mean, a lot of chefs are going to be, are going to be saying, you know, like, not really. What is the big attraction? Is it huge money? You know, uh, no, no, no. or is it huge bonuses? Or no, no, no. You know, no, no, no. It's not. It's it's not true. No. It's not true because uh, uh, that's again. It's something that people. Uh, it's it's an impression. But those people are very smart. They know what they do. 
uh, it's something it, it's very it's very difficult to work uh, again that's another culture it's uh, you need to be uh, uh, you know it, it's it's not what 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 and, and, and living in Qatar okay uh, uh, big deal right big deal there are a lot of places which are where, uh, which are better to live than in Qatar now of course I, I uh, they took care of us but you know you have a point in your life that where you don't see this anymore uh, it's it's time to move on and, and for us it was really time to move on we wanted to do something else because for for people who who, who people like us it's it's you reach a point where it's getting frustrating and what for you now you know who've done everything you, you, you have done, who's worked worldwide, right across cultures from the United States, France, Germany, Hong Kong, the Middle, yeah. the Middle East. Yeah, I, uh, worked, I worked in fast food in, in the Mississippi. You know, the, <laughs> I, I, I was flipping burgers one time in my life. Oh, look, we... I was, I, I was a dishwasher in Japan. <laughs> we all have some shameful episodes, you know, uh, <laughs> in our background. You, we don't we don't all want them on video though so that's okay, uh, that's okay. but, but uh, you know what type of you know what what type of project would excite you now you know uh, you know after having done all these things because I know from previous conversations we've had that that it cooking is is what you like you know you 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 actually like the craft of cooking you you and you want to cook that's my that's my yeah. understanding so what type of you know what type of project would would allow you to you know to 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 to, uh, to you know to feel fulfilled you know for another three years you know yeah because we always get sick eventually of yeah. every job we're doing I think you know there's always a time to try something fresh but you know yeah. what could you think of that would make you you were at you were in the Qatari royal household for nearly three years so what yeah. what could keep you happy for another three years what type of project. Uh, you know, we we working since now one year one year on a patent which is now done because we I invented something which I created in 1989, and I just did a patent on that. So that's uh, now it's done. And what we what what we would look for would be uh, because uh, my wife was working with me at the Royal Palace, and she was working with me in the kitchen, and she was serving too. So uh, the next step, what we what we love to do, is maybe to take, uh, you know, to take a resort somewhere in the Maldives or somewhere in Thailand or in Sri Lanka or whatever in Birmani or somewhere, uh, and going as F and B, uh, I'm taking the kitchen, my wife taking the floor, and uh, building something up, and to to become. Uh, actually, let's see in two three years to run the show of the resort, to run the whole resort. This would, uh, this is something we would we would consider right now today. And working together with your wife was was your, was the, the 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 job at the in the in the uh, palace in Qatar was that was that the first time you'd worked together as a duo? Uh, no, 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 no. We uh, worked together when we had the restaurant here in right. Strasbourg. Right. And uh, uh, but it's the first time that my wife was working more nearly with me in the kitchen. You know, this is what we're doing right now. If right. we have, if we have a promotion to do, what's happened? We live together. We go there. We work together in the kitchen. And uh, uh, and and because I think it's important too that something we didn't mention. You need to be able to to be polyvalent. You say this in 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 English. What's the term again, sir? Polyvalent to be able to to uh, not to stick in one thing. We able to do uh, uh, to do different kinds of things. Poly from the root man, meaning many, I think. Uh, right. Yeah, right. poly so lot. She, yeah. 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 She, she yeah. knows how to she knows how to run a floor, but she knows also to help me when when it's time to help me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so you're a well hold up, uh, honed uh, double act at this stage. Uh, you also have a website, Serge, and uh, you know for those for those who've been watching uh, and are interested in learning more about Serge, including a stunning gallery of uh, Serge's work, which is well stunning. Uh, it's worth visiting. Uh, the website uh, address 
uh, is www.serge that is s e r g e dash burkle that is b u r c k e l dot com and yeah. the website is for the most part in english as well uh, there's everything there from biography quotations press articles and as i said already uh, the gallery uh, which is well worth a visit and if you'd like to contact serge there's also uh, means to uh, contact Serge uh, on the website. That's www.serge-burkle.com So, I think we could probably call it a, a, a wrap, Serge. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. That's that's fantastic. And uh, for, for, everyone, uh, for everyone that's got this far in the video, thanks for joining us and I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll join us again, either on the blog or, you know, on the uh, on our YouTube channel. And uh, I, uh, please also, you know, consider dropping by Serge's uh, uh, website, which is a lot more colourful than ours, I can assure you. And there's a lot better pictures on it. I hope I can, uh, I hope I can maybe uh, beg Serge nicely after we've uh, after we've cut the cut the recording for use of one or two of his images, perhaps if I'm very nice. But thanks again for joining us, and Serge, thank you so much for uh, for sharing your you know knowledge, wisdom, and anecdotes uh, about catering, about kitchens, culinary, royalty, Michelin, Gout Miao, Luca Carton, the list goes on. Uh, thanks very much again. No problem.